back to Otaku no Video as always. Thank you very much for joining me to talk about a news story about Studio Gainax who are making some anime films based on the works of a legendary anime and manga creator called Leiji Matsumoto. Now, Gainax is well known for making Neon Genesis Evangelion and um, the Wings of Honey Mise, a number of other remarkable anime works. And they recently announced they're starting work on these films. Leiji Matsumoto, I would argue, is equally important in the history of anime. Uh, Matsumoto was involved in the creation of, well, Space Battleship Yamato, uh, known as Star Blazers in America, which arguably created anime fandom in Japan. Uh, he also uh, created Space Pirate Captain Harlock, uh, Galaxy Express Three Nines, uh, and uh, Queen Emeraldus, all of whom are part of a large space opera universe that Matsumoto created. And so any, pretty much any Matsumoto work that you see will connect in some way to those universes and, and all those characters. It's a very mild connection where, you know, the, the storylines don't always match up and sometimes you get a new origin story for a character. But in general, you know, um, these characters know each other, uh, so to speak. The interesting thing about this is that Gainax is making these movies um, over the course of quite a few years. The first film is coming out in three years in 2020, and then each subsequent film will come out three years after that, so they're giving themselves plenty of time. Uh, the first one will focus on um, Queen Emeraldus, who is kind of a, who is basically a space pirate, uh, and who, who goes off um, uh, in space and has her own kind of tragic backstory. Uh, what's neat about Emeraldus is that she's a very independent um, and but very alone female character going back decades in Japanese manga. So Matsumoto was uh, doing a really interesting thing, making this shonen action story, um, focusing on this strong independent female character. It's really cool. The next film will be about uh, Captain Harlock. Harlock, again, important character in anime fandom, very important uh, uh, anime series back in the 70s, and Harlock is this loner space pirate who has his own storyline and, and deals with some interesting stuff in his, his show in terms of, um, oh, a lot of stuff. I won't get into spoilers, really, but uh, Harlock's really interesting and really cool. Uh, there have been a number of adaptations of Harlock over time because he just captures the imagination of a lot of people. The third film will be about Maytel, who is one of the main characters of Galaxy Express Three Nines. This isn't the only thing, though. Um, the character designs in these films will not be by Leiji Matsumoto. They'll be by Yoshiyuki Satomoto, the character designer behind Evangelion, the girl who leapt through time, and most of Mamoru Hosoda's films, um, and The Wings of Honey Mise as well. So he has that other Gainax connection. Now, I don't know if he'll be completely redesigning all, you know, Harlock, which would be, I mean, you're redesigning an icon. That's interesting. Obviously, every anime work has to come up with their own, you know, way of how they're going to draw those characters, how they're going to adapt that for what they're doing. Um, you know, manga doesn't translate right to anime, straight to anime. But seeing a Satomoto version of these characters is going to be really, really interesting and really remarkable. Um, what's also cool is that the mecha designs will be by a guy who's worked on several Matsumoto anime works, uh, including Arcadia of My Youth, uh, the second Space Battleship Yamato movie, and Queen Millennia. Uh, and the scripts will be by, um, someone named Masaki Wachi, who has done very little work, actually. So it's kind of interesting to see somebody who, uh, hasn't done a lot of work getting involved in, in big franchises like that. And they're really just... Moving, uh, you know, moving along very slowly. What's also remarkable is it's being directed, and this is the, the interesting thing, by Hiroyuki Yamaga. Uh, Hiroyuki Yamaga is one of the co-founders of Gainax. Um, you know, he wrote the screenplay for Gunbuster. He executive produced Furikuri. Um, he directed Magical Shopping Okay at Abunabashi. He directed Mohoromatic. Uh, he produced Evangelion. He wrote Otaku no Video, uh, the original Otaku no Video. Again, he directed Honey Amise. This is a really interesting, remarkable person 
and we're going to see how he directs this. It's going to be fascinating. So that's the backstory. Again, Matsumoto, a very important person. Uh, if you're interested, a lot of his manga is available in English. I highly recommend checking it out. Um, all of them are big space opera stories with interesting character elements. Um, they're, they're, there's, there's always something about the human in his stories. One of the, one of the reasons why they lasted so long. Um, and stuff by Gainax. Gainax just keeps on chugging along, which is pretty cool. So that's the backstory on that. Hope you found this useful.